Hello, and welcome to my teaser trailer for my upcoming book, Seven Christian Doctrines, which is book number two in a seven book series. If you have not read book number one, Seven Christian Principles, please do so before reading this book. It will help you have a better foundation for continuing in the series. Also, please look for the remaining books in the series as they will come out subsequently. These are books that will follow. Book number three, Seven Christian Answers to Atheism. Book number four, Seven Christian Answers to Judaism. Book number five, Seven Christian Answers to Islam. Book number six, Seven Christian Answers to Cults Within Christianity. There will be a link in the description for you to go check that book out now. Also, you can check out the book trailers for that as well. So here are the seven Christian doctrines I believe God wanted me to put in this book. Number one, God's nature. And within that, there are these topics. The Trinity, God's love. Then number two, salvation. And in that, how we can be saved. Number three, the mission. And in that, vision for the church, how to effectively share the gospel and discipleship. Number four, eschatology. And within that, signs of the end times, the rapture. Number five, baptisms. We cover water and spirit baptisms. Number six, church order. In that, we're going to be talking about male leadership within the church. And number seven, canon of scripture. And within that, the reliability of God's word. Should we follow the Old Testament? And what is sin? These are just some of the topics that will be discussed in my upcoming book, Seven Christian Doctrines. Here is an excerpt from my book, Seven Christian Doctrines. The need to follow true doctrine. In my Christian walk, I've been faced with many different doctrines on the same subjects, many interpretations of the same scripture, many translations of the same verse. And with this swirl and whirlwind of doctrines, it gets quite overwhelming. It is only when we go directly to the source do we get the confirmations of what is truth. I have prayed long and hard and with much tears, time, study, and answers. I believe God has revealed to me what is truth. What is true doctrine? Having true doctrine is essential to your walk as a true Christian, but it is our duty as students of the Word to study to show ourselves approved. 2 Timothy 2.15 Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman, that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Because as we learn these doctrines, God calls us to tell others about the truth. Some will go on to be teachers, pastors, evangelists, and apostles. And in this, we must know what we are talking about. We must have these foundational doctrines in line and in order to effectively spread the gospel and train others. Please feel free to study these topics out further for your convenience. I have provided links in the description for you to study these topics out further. But please don't stop there. Continue your studies even further. And thank you for watching. God bless.